Hi guys, welcome back on the channel VST here, Venice Tech. And yes, this is the Galaxy S21 Plus. Let me show you guys the back. And yes, this is the box, right? And you know the whole story, right? You know why the box is so thin. You know that they removed the charger from within the box and also the headphone jack, right? But there are also other things that apparently Samsung removed. And I'm not gonna give you like the whole lecture that there is no microSD SD card, we lost the iris scanner, we don't have an HR sensor on the back, we don't have the dual aperture and etc. and etc. from the S10 to the S20. There is always something that Samsung sacrifices to make the prices a bit better. Now, how good they are, I'm not here to judge because this one is almost $1,000, right, this unit. But hey, there is also something else that they removed, and not from the box, right, from the phone. And this time it is what you see on the screen. This is the Galaxy Up Booster, right? So if you want to have your Galaxy Booster back on your Galaxy S21, S21 Plus or the S21 Ultra, guys, you better watch this whole video because there is no other way right now to enable that one. All right. And by the way, 96% of watching this video are not subscribed. So that's a crime. Please help me fix that. I think you know how. And without no further ado, guys, we're going to be starting this video in 3, 2, 1. Let's start. So the Galaxy Labs is a suit of applications that is working perfectly fine on the previous series, the S20, and not 20 etc, etc. And in fact, if you want to get more information or understand more, then please make sure to watch this video, right? Inside the Galaxy Labs, we had the File Guardian, the Battery Tracker, the Battery Guardian, and the Up Booster. And believe me, those tools really are native stock tools to kind of optimize your experience with the phone. But then the problem came. The S21 series was released, and people were reporting that there is no Galaxy Lab for the S21 series, right? Some people trying to install the APK, boom. When you install it, you might think, hey, you know, I really cheated the system, it's here. But when you try to launch it, nothing really happens. It will stop working and people were frustrated, right? So here you are watching this video and thinking, hey, what is this guy telling us? We cannot install the APK from the lab. So how does he have access to the Galaxy Lab Booster? Well. There is actually, guys, an APK from the App Booster that you can download, install. I'm going to be putting it into the video description, so make sure that you just open the link, download it, install it, and then, guys, just enjoy the Galaxy App Booster on the S21, the S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. They recommend, Samsung recommend that every time you do update your firmware, you do run this to get this smooth experience. Now, a lot of people were saying on the forums, I read that when you upgrade the firmware that you need to go and delete the cache partition. Maybe this can help as well. Maybe I can make another video just letting you know, guys, how you can get into the download mode and etc. If you just want to use the phone in your hands without involving any fancy tricks, then Galaxy App Booster is a good thing to have. And we can indeed see that this thing is doing some real work, right? So again, if you have the S21 phone, 21 Plus, 21 Ultra, and you want to still optimize your applications, and want to use the stock Galaxy app from the Galaxy Labs, download the APK, your apps have now been optimized. Again, it all works about Galaxy app Booster. So guys, here is the APK. Just make sure to install it. When you install it, you can directly open it and then it's going to stay here in the system tray. You can always open it from here. Now, I'm not able to find the icon. There is probably an activity that has to be created or needs to be created. You can probably do this with the launcher, etc. I'm not going to dig too much in this one because right now I just have it here. Proof performance up to 5%. Runtime taking about 5 minutes depending on the web performance. And of course, you can optimize applications that you only use in the past 30 days. So again, guys, if you want to get the full experience optimizing your phone and just going to do it one more time, then this is the way to go. The only downside is that, again, there is no icon on your home screen. So you need to access it here from the bar. If the icon from the bar is missing or you have rebooted your phone, just reinstall the APK and open it from there. I know it's not the most convenient way, but hey, it is what we have. And I'm not sure if any other method exists. Enjoy the video, guys. Stay safe. And we're going to be catching up in one of my next videos vst over and bye